So today, we're going to look at uh, constructing centers for a center of a triangle. Uh, what is the center of a triangle? Lots of different ways you can define that. And I'm going to come at this from a strange sort of angle. And say, what happens if I construct the angle bisectors for each vertices of my triangle. So I'm going to put my compass at each of the three vertices and swing three arcs. And then from each of those arcs I'm going to look at where it crosses the sides of the triangle. Make my compass point there and construct three sets of intersections. When I do these angle bisector constructions the same setting when I do these two sides of that intersection. Now, keep it all straight. So this crossing went with this vertex. So now I'm going to my straight edge. at it, make sure you're using the right intersection to do these angle bisectors. Stop and think. So the last thing, I have this intersection going with this vertex. Okay. So these are my three angle bisectors. One here. They meet at a single point, depending on how well you do the construction, uh, the accuracy of that point varies. This is known as a point of concurrency. Three or more lines meeting at a single point, and this is known as the in-center of the triangle. So let's stop and think about this for a moment. This angle bisector here, it's an angle bisector. That means every single point on this line segment is equidistant from the two sides of that angle that it bisects. Let's look at this angle bisector. Every point on this angle bisector is equidistant from the two sides of the angle that it bisects. And every point on this angle bisector is equidistant from the two sides of the angle that it bisects. So what about this special place in the middle, in the center of the triangle, where these two or three angle bisectors meet? That is the one single point that is equidistant from this side, this side, and that side. And we can show that. Now I have to stop and think about what equidistant or what a distance to a line means. That means that um, the distance has to be measured using a perpendicular to that side. So in order to figure out what that distance is, I need to construct a perpendicular from the center, the in-center, to a side. So I'm doing a perpendicular through a line from a point that's not on the line. So there's a perpendicular. Now, that distance, if I put my compass point at the in-center and measure the distance to that side, should match the distance to that side and this side. And we can demonstrate that by actually constructing the full circle So this circle is tangent to the three sides of the triangle. It fits neatly inside. It is known as an inscribed 
circle. Inscribe in center. So if you ever have a situation where you've got three lines that form a triangle, and you want to find the one point that's the same distance from all three lines, what you're really asking about is how do I construct 